Hey all, Double One Eight Seth Shadow here. We're in the sneak preview weekend for Illusionless Strife, which is Divine Set 2. And on top of that, this week was also the strategy meeting that Bushiroad presented in Japan, providing information on some of the future sets that we're going to be seeing, as well as new character reveals for the... or uh, talk for all the new characters that we're going to be seeing for Divine Set 2. Two and the new Faded Clash that is coming. Getting into the Market Watch itself, the first thing I want to talk about is around the Energy Cyclers from Faded Clash. So Faded Clash is going to be getting a second printing in July, but despite that, I noticed just now that we have a shortage on a lot of the Cyclers that are available right now. Biscotti is one of those exceptions, along with Presia, where they have a good amount of listings, but they're still, but they still have a pretty high value. Biscotti is still around thirty dollars, while Presia is currently around fifteen dollars. And these are the Cater and Lyrical Cyclers, respectively. The other Cyclers, on the other hand, are pretty low on listings, especially Drag Ritter Fallheart, which is Dragon Empire's Cycler. This is down to four listings right now at $30 to start off with. You have Dark States' is Tizgar, which is $18 with 10 listings. CE Roma Brave, Brave Shooter, which is Stoikeas at $14. And then Pans Merma, which is Brant Gates at $10 to start. The latter two only have nine listings apiece right now. By the time we get to July, by the time we get to July, we should see a good amount of quantity increases for these cyclers. But until that happens, there is the desire to pick these up for immediate play, I suppose. So that is probably what's really driving the price at this point. Talking a little bit about dark states, Recusal Hate Dragon is something that I brought up last time for its SP. This is one of those SPs that rarely ever makes its way above $20 among a lot of the perfect guards from set 1. It had its moment once or twice in history, and right now it's got a base price of $27. It did sell once for $22.50ish, but otherwise it's only really been selling for $20 before that, based on its history. Yeah, $20 or less there, with only a few exceptions. But more or less... I would still feel like this card won't really exceed 20 or even 25 in terms of sales, though it only has three listings at this point, and only two of them are, well, the both of them are technically above $25 when you consider shipping two, and then there's one for 68 I just don't see that moving at all. Although, we do have a new unit from the second Divine anime that could change things for Dark States, in terms of just playability. But again, we'll have to see the new effects first. Hype can only get you so far. Purple Jeweled Beast Alanthus is still up in value right now, but it's lower on its market price as of late. This is the second most expensive of the Jeweled Beasts right after Tolpaz, which is Cater Sanctuaries. And at this point, it's still selling for $17 right around that point. And that's where the market price is, too. I'm not really sure which decks in the format these days will play this card. I mean, you could definitely see Chaos play it to some degree. And Direful Dolls... I'm actually not too sure about Direful Dolls, but I don't think I've ever seen players really play this card. Maybe at least just one copy, but I'm not sure. And as for Vladmire, once we get to set two... That one I'm also not even sure of either, so I'm curious as to what this really gets played in these days. Then we've got Misdeeds Dragon, which is Chaos's promo card that came out for the June-July promos. With the exception of Imgrar, overall these promos have been seeing decreases in value quite quickly, and all the biggest ones, like the Stealth Fiend for Tamayora and Misdeeds Dragon over here, these two have dropped under $20 for their base listings now. They're still selling for around $20, especially if you have multiple copies. But if you don't 
players are trying to get rid of these or sellers are trying to get rid of these for 17 plus at this point. So the price is going down slowly on the regular ones. And as we continue to get more quantities, they should just keep going down. A bit on Direful Dolls specifically, we've got Charmaine, which is the counter heal from set 9, the one that's effective when dealing with stride decks. This one is still cheap to pick up if you want the regular rare, and then if you want the FR, this one has 9 listings and is about $7 to start off with. Mind you that these counter heals are getting reprinted in Festival 2024 though, so when it comes to the low end rarity ones, there's not going to be much of a gain there. It's really all on the high rarities to maintain their value, given how useful they might be. There's also Schwartz Sparta, which is all Magister support, but this card is also used in Direful Dolls for putting triggers from your soul into the bind zone for extra guard value later. Not to mention that it makes it an 18k booster. But this is a common from set 9 that has made its way up over the last months to become a pretty solid dollar. Market price is currently 85 cents, and then listings available are mostly a dollar to a dollar fifty. You do have some that are significantly cheaper, but that's only on individual listings. If you add the shipping cost, that really ups the value quite significantly. So, yeah, I sh probably should have covered this card a whole lot earlier, but maybe I kind of let my guard down given it was a common and from set 9, which had a lot of printing before. Talking a little bit about the strategy meeting that Bushiroad had, they made reveals of reprints that we're getting for Lyrical Divine Set 1. And the biggest one that they announced is What Color Is Your Wish Valshblan, which is the notoriously expensive Lyrical Cycler from Festival 2023. This card had a market price as high as $70 in the past, and it would sell for $70 for some time. Thanks to this announcement of the reprint, the card has seen a lot of a lot of listings that are just trying to fire sale it before this happens. The listings are now as low as $35, which got bought out already, and now the lowest listings are just under $50 for playsets apiece. And then you've got 50 to 65 again, so we'll see how many more sellers are trying end up trying to fire sale this card. We're not getting this set until September, which means we'll still get Festival Collection and we'll get set three before this card actually gets reprinted. But when this card finally does get reprinted, it should also be around the time that we'll start seeing the BCS really start to take off again too. So by that time, I could expect this to continue to go down. One Night Witch Strega has been going down in value too. This was, this is the Order Cycler from Trick and Trick, where it's still a little low on listings, but there are more of them than there were the last time I covered this card. Eight listings overall with a market price of just over $35, and they're still selling for 30s, but they were in the $40 range for some time, so it's good to see that they've dropped off a bit since then which is closer to around the price just before it really started to get its buyout. It's really going to, what's really going to determine if this card keeps its value or sees more is going to be on the reveals of Kyoka and Lutisia upcoming from Bushiroad 2. We still haven't seen those, and those two decks have a lot of potential to play Strega, so... Where how good those decks are and how well this fits into those decks is really going to be a deciding factor on its value going forward. Soaring Bubble Penelope is a double rare from Trick and Trick support for Kyrie, and this one has been going up in value too, to about a dollar, a dollar fifty for all of its base listings right now. But it's short on listings on the market too, six listings overall. And they've been selling for closer to $2 recently. We do have one listing 75 cents with a slightly higher shipping tag, but there are lots of quantities available for it right now. 
Though all the other listings at a dollar, there aren't too many of them available, and then it eventually just moves its way into becoming a $5 card. Trick and Trick did have a lot of printing though, more than I thought it did, so I would anticipate we'll see some more hit the market at some point, but Kyrie is a pretty strong deck at this point, so I would anticipate this would probably just stay in the dollar, maybe even two dollar range. Prism Promised Late is one of the Prism cards that come out of Trick and Trick again, among the double rares, and I'm bringing these up for two reasons. Same as Penelope, this card has only six listings on the market, so it's running out. The second reason is Prisms are getting a boost in Lyrical Divine Set 1 with Vert coming out along with its Limit Break-esque support cards like Rosa. We don't know any effects yet, but the very fact that they're Prisms has given some breath of, some breath of life into picking up more Prism cards. Now, Labrador is the specific card to use with Late for its effects, but despite that, the card's market price is holding around a dollar, sales are still going for dollars, and depending on how Vert works, you could very well still see Labrador get played in the same deck, almost like a Limit Break deck. In fact, I believe Vert is actually the first card that we're getting in Divines as an encounter, that was also a break ride, so it's going to be interesting to see what Vert can do. Celtic is in the same boat as late right now. This one also requires Labrador for most for both of its skills as well, and then it still has nine listings only, and it's been selling for a dollar to two dollars recently. In terms of available listings, this one also is about a dollar to pick up in terms of availability now. And if you do want to pick up the cheaper ones, they have much, much higher shipping tags, which offset that cheap cost. And the last card I want to talk about today is one that I completely missed for the last month or so. Detour Together LV has had a buyout to the point of about $11.50 to $12 on its double rare. This is a Lyrical Set 2 card that both serves as a counter charger as well as a protector for your other units by making itself the only targetable card as long as it's in the front row. As I was saying, the double rare is pretty expensive right now, around $12 to pick up, and the market price is actually $8. The SP only has one $20 listing available right now, and the market price on that is $8.66. If we take a look at the actual history of this card, it's been go really going up since the end of April, which I'm not really sure why, outside of being played in Petralka, I'm not really sure if it has any premium playability right now, perhaps, but ultimately the card has been seeing a lot of value gains and not really sure why, especially since April. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.